Leftovers go back to the office. <laughs> That's why I'm yes. ending this. Hey y'all, what's up? It's Julia. And I'm Chelsea. And we are the people of Julia Tries Everything. <laughs> the people of, I'm doing really good at this. Yeah. We are going to be answering all of your questions that you have about the series in honor of the series being done. Final season. So we are here to answer all the questions that you have that you put in our community post a few weeks back. In honor of this little occasion, I wanted to loosen you guys up a little bit with your favorite cocktails of your time on the show. Chelsea, this is yours. This is the Fins to the Left Margarita from Margaritaville. What we have is Fins to the Left, which is the Margaritaville Silver Tequila, Blue Curacao in their house margarita blend on the rocks. Is this aloe? They usually use a big thing of, of agave to make it look like a shark fin, but I didn't have that, so I did a cucumber. Let's do I this. I love this. <laughs> is this gonna turn my teeth blue? I no, hope so. No. I, oh. All right, you guys ready to get started with the first question? Mm -hmm. Hit me. This first question is from Naomi Aharon. She asks, why is the series ending? Why can't there be more? I think we all want more. There's nothing left. Like we went to all of the chain restaurants. I mean, there's like maybe a few that we left out, but like we- That we were allowed to go to. Yeah, that. <laughs> there is a short list of places that we didn't go to because it was just impossible to schedule them. We didn't go to Hooters, which no. was, that wasn't a choice that I made. <laughs> um, we didn't go to- There was um, one restaurant on the list that we didn't go to, but I would have like laughed so hard if we did, which was um, Chuck E. Cheese. We did have that on our list we and we were serious list. about going, but then <laughs> 2020 happened. Yeah. And then another thing that's like, I think really important that people don't always understand is that when I started this job, job. When I started doing this show, I was a social editor for Delish. So I looked over all of our social channels. And then now I'm our video director. So this is not my job. Like <laughs> I have never been paid to do Julia Tries ever. My actual job is being a video director and I work with Chelsea on all of our other series. Yeah. So we have director of video, director of photography. We work on all of the shows. We don't have time to do any more of this one. Yeah, sorry. That's and I'm just it. getting old. You're not getting old. What does it mean me? I'm You're getting you. old too. Great. We're all getting old. I actually like the drink now. <laughs> I really like the drink. No, it's a good drink. Next question. Kara Shear asked, I'm weirdly emotional about this. I'd love to know what's next for Julia and I would love to know top three dishes you've had from both Julia and Chelsea. Oh. We black out. Yeah. I mean, I also let's let's um, recognize her feelings of um, feeling weirdly emotional. I finished doing the last episode this week, and like I think it was like at like six thirty at night or something. And my fiance came home, and he's just like, "Chelsea, what's wrong?" And I was like, "I'm just emotional." <laughs> it's really hard to do a top three because. I don't Again, 60 anything. over 60 episodes. Do you, does anything immediately come to mind? Because I okay, go ahead. Um, the I had to like look it up. Yeah, I had to look it up. Phone. So it's the rigatoni campanolo from Carabas because your girl really loves Carabas. I really love Carabas. You were. I I've never out. seen you so happy. So happy. It's hard because it's all going to be based off of what was the most recent from my memory, which was the old red poutine that we had. Oh, that was really good. Oh, that man. was amazing. That would be. <sighs> that was fudge. a good one. Yeah. Um, okay, here, wait, let me look at. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I honestly, that poutine was, ma that was, that's top five. I love Texas Roadhouse, the experience itself, and I love that all the drinks came with those little shooters. Those shooters. Um, I'm not thinking of any specific drink, but I liked the experience itself. It, was there any kind of cookie dish, like a dessert dish? Okay, every bazooka. I really DJs. like dessert. <laughs> okay. All right, next question. Great. Christy Ritter asks, I always wonder if you have to reapply makeup during the shoot or if you are that talented to avoid messing it up while eating giant burgers, etc. Either way, this is real talent. <laughs> but this is giving me PTSD. Can I tell them? Yeah, you want you want to you want to talk about? All right, all right, all right, all right. You want to talk about yeah. what you do to me on these shoots? And why so I she have all this with me? She really hates the slow-mos. A lot of people who are working here are telling us that this is their favorite burger. And they also told me, 
you need a fork and a knife to eat it. You ruined my makeup. I'm doing my <laughs> I'm doing my product placements. I've always had a lip gloss that goes over it. My favorite right now is a lip glaze. I have four brushes on me at all times. I have my little tiny one for details, my big fluffy one. Brittany Seely asks, I always wondered how much the average cost of the food per episode was, or if the restaurants donated the food because of the publicity. We've had a few places where we did pay the full bill or like we've paid for the tip and stuff. I'm trying to think of if we did the average math. I know a few of you guys in the comments have actually done the math and guessed. Let's say each item is about $20 and we do at least 30 items. So it's pr the bill without tax tip is most likely around $600, yeah. I would imagine. Yeah. And I bet it could go as high as like $900 because of the things we're trying. Yeah, that and right? that sounds about right. But it, but because this is an editorial thing and it is like a publicity thing, um, they will usually send over their chef from wherever their headquarters are, that they develop the recipes. They have a whole crew that, that comes to join us. So no, the answer is usually zero dollars. The only thing we do is we tip our server. They always have a dedicated, almost always, have a dedicated server to our table. Um, they're getting paid for the day from that company, but then we tip on top of that most yeah. of the time. This next one isn't really a question so much as a statement, but Tom Rogers wrote, rename it Chelsea Tries Everything. What? <laughs> you know what I think I got? No, no, no. Annie Bell asks, does Chelsea chug all the cocktails behind the scenes? <laughs> 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 when we get to the later rounds, yeah. we'll drink more of it because there's fewer hours left. Yeah. In the Where? Show. No. What was it? Was either was it Dave and Buster's or was it Yard House that I was just like every drink that came out, it was like yes. Well, Yard this House is my was time. all the beer. Do you like beer? You kept drinking all the beer. That's what it was. Oh my God! Taste that. Oh. No. Oh. Prickly. This is a sugar rush. That's all I have. That's my review. Tastes like root beer. But you've never had. You've never had shoddy camera work because of it. Related to this, Librarian X asked, which restaurant gave you the worst hangover? Oh, oh. Margaritaville. <gasps> yeah, that was a lot of sugar yeah. that day. Oh my God. I can't. As we're drinking a Margaritaville yeah. drink. Which one did we drink a lot of? No, honestly, I, I, I can't answer this. I will answer this for Julia. Episode one. Can I have a Riesling? Like a Riesling? May I have another? Thank you. Uh. Even though that was 11 minutes long, that had some of the that had the most alcoholic beverages, I think, yeah. or at least that we that we drank. And I remember yeah. being like, "Oh no, Julia!" By like round like two or three. It, the earlier episodes, I definitely drank the most, yeah. so I probably had the worst hangovers. I was I was figuring it out. We were all figuring it out, right? And. Yeah, and I learned later on to be more hydrated going into the episodes. And a and couple sips, not couple the whole sips. thing. Although I have to say, Old Red, I could just kind of let loose and just drink. Uh, that was, was a good time. That was so much fun. Do we tell people what time of the morning it is? Do we? <laughs> no. Comment down below what time you think I took this shot at. Palomito Hormzita asked, what is one restaurant anywhere in the world that you wanted to film an episode at, but you weren't able to? Our, our dream for any series is to go international. That's always something we want to do. And that's true for Iconic Eats and for Julia Tries. And it's because, of course, budget that you can't just fly a crew out and do that. We, we're an editorial team. We don't have that money. Um, so I can't say anywhere in the world, but do you have something in mind? That, OK, go ahead. Waffle House. <laughs> I would have wanted to go You want to go down the street House. to Waffle House? You yeah. OK. Yeah. We did IHOP. Why don't we do Waffle House? Yeah. Anywhere in the world that I wish that we had gone that we didn't go to, honestly, would be the melting pot because oh. I like I have really fond memories. That was the classy, fun place you went for birthdays, for celebrations. I think I, I didn't had, know what that was. I remember my high school boyfriend took me to a melting pot, and I felt like the end game, like we're getting married, because like going to melting pot meant that he was serious. Wait, what is a what is melting pot? It's the fondue place. Nikki Fetzer asks, have you ever gotten really sick after an episode? Are there any restaurants you'll never go back to? <laughs> I feel like I know what you're gonna say, but I'm gonna let you say it. I don't wanna get into like poop talk, right? We don't do poop talk here, but <laughs> your girl is, has IBS and is lactose intolerant. And 
We're shooting these sometimes before 9 a.m. A lot of the time. Yes, I get sick after most episodes. It's not because the food is bad, it's because no one's meant to eat 50 different things. Is there a question about what is the most dramatic or hard restaurant that we've shot? Not a restaurant that made me the most sick, but a restaurant that um, gave me the most trauma. You know, we're drinking a cocktail <laughs> from trauma. Margaritaville. Oh, okay. You know. Jimmy Buffett about to come from the ceiling? The, the short story is that um, there was some miscommunication and it took us like six hours to shoot all of that food. This is the only time, hopefully the last, not good, um, that I dropped my camera and broke part of the monitor arm and I had to replace it. So I just associate Margaritaville with doom. Jessica Shretton asks, how long does it take to shoot each video and how many food breaks do you take, LOL? Three hours, four hours. Four to five hours. Four to five hours. If we and the restaurant are both like in sync figuring things out together, we don't have any breaks. We're just going from one thing to the next. Uh, there's no break between no. rounds. The only time there's a break between rounds is either because I have to use the restroom, Chelsea's use the restroom, or um, we're waiting for the f like there's the food one, to come out. There's like one food yeah. item that for one reason or another we're waiting on, but that's very rare. When we are waiting for food to come out, um, there's definitely foods that die quickly. Oh, so yeah. so if it's like a really cheesy dish and it starts to get cooled down, the cheese will congeal. So obviously we have to shoot that very quickly. Or if there's whipped cream, it will deflate very quickly. Or if there's a frozen drink, it might melt. So as soon as the food starts really coming out, it's like a mad dash to get all of our beauties, as we say, all of our beauty shots. So like in, in the time that we have like a moment to take a breath, to the time that we're starting to get the food coming out, we have to really hustle. So when Chelsea is shooting, and is shooting the beauty shots, those really gorgeous shots that um, are shown when I am giving the description of the food item, Chelsea is like this, getting really close, giving like really intensive like, she's complimenting the food and the food can't say anything back. She's like, yeah, you look good today. You gender your food items for sure. Yeah. Like, he's a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> or she's chic. Or like, she's, yeah, you, you know, I don't know. You're always like personifying the food. You know, and, and there are like, people too. Um, what's it called? What's it called when you're sexualizing an item? <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm catcalling the You're food. You're like catcalling food. <laughs> wait, are, are you finishing it? Oh, sh wait, no, you are, then we're doing it. No one likes us wasting food. Have you not learned this? Give me this. <laughs> Did you finish it? Yes, you can. Still tastes like frat juice. I was gonna say jungle juice. Remember we said jungle yeah. juice. We were like, wow, if frat boys learned how to actually make good jungle juice, this is what it would taste like. And wore sunscreen. Oh, if, if if you also took care of your skin and wore sunscreen in college. This is amazing. Um, I will say when I saw this, when I see any red drink, I immediately think of Bloody Mary's, and that is one regret. I don't think we really went to any restaurant that had a good, or if at all, a Bloody Mary. Bonefish was the only place that did was a, it? They did a Bloody Mary bar. Miles Caldwell asks, have there been any restaurants that wouldn't let you try everything? It's not that we don't usually get a no from restaurants on certain dishes, but if like Julia doesn't want to eat it, she's not gonna order it. They've said no because a menu item is going to be discontinued in the next six months or so, so if there's no reason to yeah. really show it on camera because you're not gonna be able to order it, and that's not very helpful for y'all. Um, and then sometimes they say no because they're still working on the item. We've had a few places where it's kind of a newish item and they don't feel confident in it for us to be trying It's not it on ready camera. for the public. Jonathan Chin asks, out of all the restaurants you've been to, which ones have had the best sweets slash desserts? That's a Chelsea question. Um, I like my cookie skillets. Where have we had those? Cookie skillets were big at BJ's. I mean, almost every restaurant had a cookie skillet. There are a few places that did like salted caramel cookie ones. If they didn't have a cookie, no, I think it was, maybe it was BJ's that I'm thinking of. I'm a big key lime pie girl, and I'm trying to remember which places had the best key lime pie. You had a key lime pie cocktail somewhere. Yes. Where was that? Somebody help. I don't know. Either way, like if, if, if in, there's one in, thing in that like Julia would probably make an exception to be 
more hosting again is to do a key lime pie tour in Key West, which I am fully on board for. Yeah, I definitely, <laughs> I would come back to do the key lime pie tour. Yes. Um, best desserts, I think Junior's Cheesecake is a really obvious one and just yeah. the amount of options that you have. Cheesecake Factory is the same, I mean, they're kind of similar ideas, right? Both really great at cheesecakes. The other one that I randomly am thinking of is at Fogo de Chao. Yes. They have this, yes. this, I do not like papaya at all. And they have this very interesting papaya moussey dessert. And I think it had, maybe it had guava cream or something. It was very unique to any other restaurant we've been to. I do not like papaya and I really liked it. And I ended up taking my mom back and we had it. And my mom loved it too. And my mom's a pastry chef. So that's like, you know, th that's a good like little like, stamp of approval right there. I don't think you've had a dessert that you didn't like, to be honest. No, I love dessert. Doug Usher wants to know, the moment has arrived, so I ask a question here and they might answer. Okay, Lil, is Julia single? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Julia. Yes. <laughs> you you can, here first. You can find me on... No. You can find me on all the apps. You know what? I did start the series with a boyfriend, but I... Oh, Pretty yeah. quickly didn't I, I remember like certain <laughs> mentions in like CPK, but like that was about yeah, it. Yeah. Something I, about some dating. So at the beginning of this, I said that my first date ever was at a CPK. He just DM'd me and he said, OMG, do you remember when we went to CPK at the mall and you finished your entire pizza in like 20 minutes and I had to get a box? You were meant for this moment. You heard it here in the Delish kitchen. God, that's so sad. All right, next up, Eleni Bettered asks, so bittersweet, I feel like I spent most of my late nights and early mornings in college with you, Julia. What camera is Chelsea using? No. <laughs> what? It's not the camera you use, it's how you use it. You know, people will be like, oh, let me buy the top of the line camera, or I only have my cell phone. The fact is, if you put your love into it, and you either light it right or you edit it fun, it's gonna be a really fun video. So don't get caught up in those things. Can you just that tell them what camera? Oh just yeah, them we're, camera. we're so many people here. Winger Murphal asks, I'm of course curious what Julia will be up to next. Will she be an employee of Delish, but onto a new project? Also, so curious if you two are friends outside of work. We're not friends. We've never been friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, first part of the question was, yeah, Chelsea and I still work at delish.com as of this video being shot. I mean, <laughs> obviously, we're like hanging out with of, Justin and Corey, we got we're the still, team. We're still here yeah. as of t as of January, whatever day it is, we are still working here. <laughs> we are still happily employed. Um, no, so Blast. we are, um, I, I kind of answered this earlier, but then we probably ended up cutting it out because we can't stop talking, was that we have a new test kitchen being built. Uh, brand new studios, and we're going to be working way more in a culinary atmosphere, I would say. Still doing travel shows, but basically we're going to be working on a lot of culinary YouTube video projects. A lot of shows that require us to be behind the scenes, engineering all the things for your enjoyment. Yeah, so we'll be working as a yeah. team even more so, I would say, than we have in the past few mm -hmm. years. Segue, and I don't Segway know Segway into are we friends. Chelsea, oh, yeah. are we friends? Actually, this is important for me. Are we friends? Yeah. Okay. Obviously, we're friends. That was a really good moment. I'm proud we of you guys. What? Cat Y wants to know, hi, what's your workout routine after all the food you eat? I know a lot of people like to ask those type of questions. People like to ask about like what my workout is, what I eat before, like, I, some things that are very like triggering in the way of like eating disordery things that people ask about like do you purge after and I really um, am not gonna touch those things but as someone who's like been healing from eating disorder stuff from my own past um, I don't like to get into that kind of stuff and I don't think it's helpful I hope that people what they're taking away from the show more is like Enjoy the food that you eat, celebrate it. It's a really great time to like, I'm giving you the best things to order. So when you go, you know what you want. It doesn't matter what I do workout wise. It doesn't matter. And I hope that you know it doesn't matter and you should just enjoy the food you eat and keep it at that. Wesley Saunders wants to know, Julia, what's next for you, more reviews or acting? And then he put the little like two acting faces, the comedy and drama emoji. Well, no, I'm not going, I will never go into acting. I don't think I could do that, but thank you, that's very kind. Forget acting. 
she needs to be on the next episode or the next season of The Bachelorette. That's all I'm gonna say. No, they don't like fat people. What the f They don't like fat people. I really hate Bachelorette. Yeah. I'm gonna take Sorry. that back. But no. yeah, Chelsea and I did actually audition for um, uh, Amazing Race. The Amazing Race. <laughs> we auditioned for The Amazing Race together because, well, they came to us. Yeah. And wanted yeah. us, they wanted us to do it together. We did a whole tape. Like, we, did we did a tape. It was thing. really fun. Was really I, fun. I had fun just yeah. recording it. Yeah. Um, we obviously didn't make it because no. you guys would know that if we did. No. Um, I think it's just because we're too, like, because you need people who don't get along, and we get along just too well. We do, but also, like, but I'm glad that we didn't go on that show because um, maps scare me. I just don't have any sense of direction. That's my fatal flaw. All right, y'all. Kevin Johns Red wants to know. Oh, no. No, what? we can't put him in. Oh, is that Kevin? Yeah, it's Kevin. That's her fiance. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, no, we have to put him in. We're putting him in. Kevin Johns Red wants to know, while he may have dietary restrictions, can we please have a Gus tries everything? Oh! <laughs> My drama queen son always has to one-up me, and so I have irritable bowel syndrome. He has irritable bowel disease. Oh no. It's really f***ed up that he decided that he had to overshadow my, di my disease. Um, so he has a sickened intestine layer, so he can't try everything. Um, I do love him. You can watch um, a single video that we did at Delish that performed horribly, where I cooked and ate with Gus for a full week. Yeah, I like the mint. It's a little... Oh, okay. Nope, nope. He also yeah. came camping with us. So Julia's child went to uh, Letchworth with us. We did a whole like- Camping. Camping, Delish does camping situation. Where, where June did her budget eat. Yep. Sorry, I'm just looking at Justin dancing with Gus. Wow. And everything, um, we did like- Justin MRE grilled, tasting. MRE. Justin grilled. Yeah, we did a whole thing. I think thing. we eat, each cried at least once. We each <laughs> cried at least once. There was a lot of crying. Um, <laughs> there, the place was definitely haunted, but, that, but that Gus was the best. projector. Every time I was like, I hear something, I'm scared. And then it would just be like Gus either roaming around downstairs or like I would just like hear, see his little ears perk over and I was like, okay, no, everything's gonna be fine. Valencia Hemmings wants to know, I wanna know if this series will continue with a different host and maybe a slightly different premise or is it over over? Never to return in any way, shape or form. Lol. I people like are upset. There's... There are a lot. Of, a lot of people are very sad that the show is leaving. And that's fair. Yeah. I understand. I feel what like there's always a, a new iteration of everything that we've done. Yeah. Um, everything. Agreed. Also, to be clear, everything on the internet and everything on YouTube has to, has been done before, but hasn't been done by you or us. It. And I think that is something that's really useful to think about. Um, so I, I feel like there is room to make some sort of iteration. I think that there's so many other topics and different things that we want to tackle. Um, I have so many ideas. We have so many ideas, guys. I know. There's so, so many, many other things, but it doesn't mean that we won't do this format in some other way. Right. And you'll still see me in some way, shape, or form. So it's just kind of like a goodbye for now is my best way of That's saying it. it. Is. Um, yeah. You want to take a little baby sip? Girl. For last question? I have not eaten. Oh no enough. no no! Don't okay. No. Then don't don't. I don't. I'm not. No, I'm going in. That was the saddest little baby set. Uh. All right, y'all's last question. Mister the Yankee fan asks, "What are your top three restaurants?" Um, Are you first? So second? little fan fare. No, I, I, I think I know which ones mine are. Okay. Well, I think what? Mm, wait. Carabas. Well, obviously, yes. Carabas <laughs> is definitely one of my favorites. She loves Carabas. And then you go with another one. Um, Texas Roadhouse. Yep. Um, Bubba Gump. Oh, really? Yeah. I oh. loved oh. the movie theming. Okay. Um, I loved the experience at Olive Gardens. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> my last one is a toss-up. Uh, I loved the burgers and everything from um, Red Robin because I used to go there a lot in high school. Like if you were a theater kid or, or a choir kid, like after every concert or production, you would go to Red Robin for whatever reason. It was just like near the mall, like I don't know. But then I actually think that my final, I love that place, that, that's a special mention. Red Robin is a special mention. Okay. My final place that I really loved, Cracker Barrel. <laughs> oh, 
Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel. That was one of the, that was like first season, yeah. wasn't it? One of my ties is anytime we did where we went to Hard Rock and I got to go with Tess. Oh my. Right. That was so much fun. This is halfway. Yeah, we're at halfway. And same with Boathouse with Adriana, yeah. like, and it was really cool because you're you're sharing your experience with someone else and they're kind of like, oh, I didn't know that this is how this works. Um, but I don't know if those were necessarily because of the food or because of the experience, right? so fun, like even um, the Universal. I know, the that was fun. Oh, oh God, but, uh, but those are like kind of, that's a sidetrack. Um, uh, special mention, that was special a special mention. mention. I said Olive Garden and I said Texas Roadhouse already. And then my final was Cracker Barrel, so Cracker yours Barrel. is... Which one? Chili's! I Chili's. cried at Chili's! She did cry at a Chili's. Oh, that's she it. I would pick Chili's. Chili's. Um, that was our like final episode during Christmas time. Yeah. And I remember I cried at Chili's because it was just so much fun. We got recognized in a Chili's in Jacksonville Airport. In the airport. <laughs> we were, oh yeah. Cause it's really funny when, when people see me at the chain restaurants in real life. They're like, oh, Julia they're like, in they're context. Like, <laughs> and they're also just like, wait, you actually come here? I'm like, yes, <laughs> of course I do. I love for you guys to reflect on your time doing the show. I, I think that this is, has meant a lot to a ton of people. And I know it also has meant a lot to both of you personally. Oh wow! I know. Yeah. I have. I have a funny answer. Go for it. I'm gonna miss those desolate mall parking lots. Oh, New Jersey. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna miss New Jersey. Yeah, we're Just miss New Jersey. Gonna, we're still oh, gonna see New Jersey. No. New Jersey hasn't left. I know that a lot of people have felt really connected to the show one way or another, and I think that's really awesome. And I'm not like a super sentimental person, so it's hard for me to be like have more emotion about it. But I do want to say thank you so much for people who have watched because in the beginning, a lot of people really fucking hated me. <laughs> it was pretty YouTube rough in the beginning. It's, it takes a long time. It takes it was, a lot for people to sort of come around to you or for yeah. your people to find you. Yep. And so that's like, I fair. feel like our people found us or yeah. found you, Julia. So like, that's a really like awesome. lovely thing. You wish you knew you were in the good times when you were in the good times. Absolutely, and I think like too, I mean, at least for me, like one of my favorite things is the fact that, you know, I've worked with big crews on shoots, but these shows that we do for Delish, especially this one, is if this is just us, that we get yeah. to go yeah, to a right restaurant. Yeah, right now there's four people in this room, this which is, is the twice the amount. <laughs> this is the biggest crew we've ever yes. had for an episode ever. But like, um, I mean, I think the thing for me is that because, you know, these are such pared down teams, it's like, you know, you get to spend time with like your friend eating at a restaurant, eating food, you just happen to be filming it and like talking about the food the whole time. Yes, I have one last thing for you, but okay. I had to hide it in the freezer so you didn't see it. Stop Yay! it! Best what is this? Wait, why did you put it in the free? It's, why it's is it frozen? Cold. Because I didn't want you guys to see it. This is best review show ever. Oh! Oh, and did you stick that? What's it say? Justin! <laughs> Justin! I thought this was better. I thought oh what I wrote was better. Oh my god! This says girl power? So my sign off is. Leftovers go back to the office. <laughs> I'm over it. We've never wasted food. It makes me so angry. That's how I'm ending this episode. That's how I'm yes. ending this. Thank you so much for watching. And we've never wasted the leftovers, ever. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. what's your sign off? That mine was so hateful. I love you oh. guys, I'm so sorry. Yeah, no. Uh... Here, you get to hold it as you do it. Powerful, have a power goodbye. I'm not used to being on camera. <laughs> May you drink all of the cocktails that have been ordered to your table and that you get home safely. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye! Wait, no, no. Doing it. I just go down. I don't have to come off.